What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to see what is new in the iOS 11 beta 1. Now, as you probably uh, can tell, Earlier today, I made a video on how you can install it. So if you couldn't install it or if you didn't install it because you want to stay on iOS 10.3.1 or 10.2.1 or you're jailbroken on a lower firmware, here in this video, you're going, you're going to learn what is new and whether you should try it or not. So as you can see at the first glance, if you look on the uh, on the left corner in here, you no longer have the uh, the bars. Uh, sorry, the uh, the dots for the uh, signal strand. You do have a couple of bars in here, which is definitely something new. I think the battery also has a new shape. I can't really tell, but I think it's a little bit different. But anyways, icon icon wise, you can see that we have a new icon for the iTunes Store and a new icon for the App Store. Also, the calendar icon seems seem to have some problems. Rent its um, its icon because you can see it has that um, that uh, sketch that project interface to it which is definitely a bug it's not going to look like that now the uh, the important piece of the iOS 11 is the control center a lot of people hate for some reason this control center I do like it I mean I, I I'm not dying for it but it's definitely something better in my opinion and uh, if you 3D touch or you long press on these uh, items in here keep in mind this iPod is not supporting 3D touch but I can still do this with long press you get more info about this. It does have some animation to it, you can see in here. So definitely some attention to the details that you usually don't get from Apple. Now it has screen mirroring and also screen recording. I know it's definitely something good. Now you can see here you have the uh, screen mirroring which is you probably already know the um, the uh, screen the screen mirroring you can you can mirror the screen to an Apple TV or a Mac and so on. Then you have this um, this letters in here which are for controlling the brightness and the audio, which are pretty interesting. If you truly really touch on them or you long press on them, they become uh, bigger, as you can see, and you can control them right away in here. And you can also activate the night shift. So you can see in here. I have activated the uh, the night shift. Let me go ahead and disable it. There we go. This is the same thing for this uh, toggle in here, but there is absolutely nothing more to it. It would have probably been better for, for them to add something like a mute button, but anyways, it's okay. You have the camera, you have the calculator, you have the, um, the flashlight in here, probably know it already. And then you have, as I say, screen recording, which is definitely something new. You can see you have screen recording here with microphone or without microphone, depending on how you want. You click start recording and it records. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, make a recording right now because I'm already recording with QuickTime but I made one in here and I'm going to play it right now so it looks like this it yes it does look uh, crisp enough it, it's okay it's not going to take any awards but it's okay I'm going to run it this is the way it records the screen now it's not going to take any awards but it's definitely clear and it's definitely sounding quite good so if you want to send something or if you want to just I don't know, take a shot, even for YouTube, is going to be okay. Although, I find QuickTime a little bit better. Okay, so the settings also got a little bit of a redesign. Uh, in terms of wallpaper, you only have one new wallpaper on the iPhone, which is this one in here, nothing major. But moving swiftly on to the, um, the rest of the settings, you're going to see quite some differences. At first, that big, damn, bold settings label in there. And then you have this uh, suggestions, finish setting up your iPod Touch, and if you go having here is going to tell you to either set your Apple ID or to set your um, your passcode if you did not already. Uh, then you have a couple of, uh, of new things including the Siri which has a new icon, a new interface, we're going to get into that. But the most important is the control center. Now the control center lets you rearrange the, uh, the things in here. For example, for the moment you can see that the flashlight is the first one. But if I want I can move it and do this. And it's no longer the uh, first one, it's definitely between the last. So, definitely good in, on that point. You can even add more in here. You can add the Apple TV remote, which is definitely good. Guided access, magnifier, notes, stopwatch, text size, wallet, accessibility, alarm. And uh, that's pretty much what it gets. 
and you have the timer, calculator, and so on. Speaking about calculator, the calculator application simply got revamped completely, a new icon, a new interface, I'm going to show you right now. You can see it's definitely dark, which is quite okay, but for some reason I think I uh, I, I like the, uh, the older version uh, much more for some reason, I don't know. It, it's just me though. Uh, and you have a new application that comes uh, by default called Files, and it's a file manager, and it's definitely something interesting, but it's not what you expected. It's nowhere near what iFile can do, and I think it's probably expected not to be nowhere near close. But you have on my device in here, and you can create folders, I guess, which is okay. Uh, yeah, you can have new folder, you can have, um, you can delete them, and, you can do copying, passing, cutting, and so on. You know, that normal things. You have this uh, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray uh, work tags in here, exactly as you have in the Finder on Mac OS, which uh, definitely shows a hint of uh, Apple trying to somehow make the iOS and the Mac OS even more uh, alike, which is okay. You have the recent, recently deleted things in here, which is, uh, like a trash can. Then you have your iCloud Drive. Definitely interesting, but not that much. The App Store application is not only uh, only revamped in terms of icon, you can see it has a completely new revamped interface. So you can see it has this today thing in here where you can see um, probably editor pics or important things and how to and so on. And then you have the games section in here, which presents a couple games. You can see, uh, let's play section, you have the Minecraft, you have uh, all your favorites. Then you have the apps, which are in here. And then you have the updates, which is your normal update, and the search bar, which is in here. So it's definitely interesting. Here is your account. You can uh, definitely go to your account, redeem your uh, vouchers or send gifts and even sign out. So definitely a completely uh, new interface. I'm going to close all these apps to not to clutter my uh, device. Let's see the iTunes store by now. And uh, yeah, it's definitely revamped a little bit, but you can see it has the music, movies, TV shows, and so on. Yeah, definitely interesting. You have, um, yeah, it's definitely not something uh, very new. Okay, uh, I have seen a couple of bugs in here, so it's definitely a uh, buggy interface for the moment, considering the fact that it's beta 1, I think it's probably expected, but it's definitely uh, a bit buggy. It says, oh, uh, it says start using iCloud, no thank you. Um, then we have notifications, which are notifications have um, a little bit of modification to them. So you can see in here that when I uh, when I toggle the notifications, they are actually my uh, my lock screen. So it's definitely your lock screen. And if you want to see your your older notifications, you need to swipe up again, and it's going to show you them. You can of course um, swipe to the uh, to the right, and you're going to see your uh, widgets. But it's definitely integrated now into the uh, lock screen, so they're no no longer two separate things, which is probably not the best thing, one would assume. Speaking about Siri, let's toggle Siri on. Hi Siri. Hi there. Well, definitely good. As you can see, it has a new interface, that little globe in here with that uh, whatever is in there, that abstract thing, and it definitely has a better and improved voice. Um, there is not more to it we can talk about. Uh, it's definitely better. Uh, it has new uh, improved mechanisms to detect your whatever you're interested in and so on. You're going to discover that only by using it. In terms of interface, it does have that a little new things in there, but that's pretty much all about it. Going to the uh, photos application, this is how it looks like. You have the memories in here. You have the photos and you have the shared ones and then you have your normal albums and yeah quite like this but let me show you something interesting if i want to make a uh, screenshot it's going to to do it in a different way okay as you can see it's going to take the screenshot place it in here and you need to click in here on the screenshot and before you can save it you can crop it you can uh, mark to it you can uh, I don't know, you can draw to it and so on, add various things, um, crop parts of the screenshot and so on. And then you click done and save it to the photos. And after that, it gets saved. So it's no longer a, an instant process, but it does bring you a couple of uh, things. 
This is the music application. Unfortunately, I do not have any music, but there aren't any important changes to show, except uh, the fact that you can now share your music with your friends. Uh, you can see what your friends are listening to, of course, if they do share that with you. Uh, going back to the settings in here, to the major um, and important things, you should keep in mind that these toggles in here are a little bit broken. For example, the Bluetooth one doesn't work at all. You cannot uh, you cannot toggle it on or off. So you have uh, in the beta one, you have to go ahead and activate the Bluetooth or disable it because it's activated by default from here. But anyways, other than that, I didn't see any major bugs. In, anyways. Going to the passcode, um, it's definitely uh, a new keyboard in here. So I'm going to move swiftly on and show you this. This is what the interface looks like. You have return missed calls, erase data, wallet, and require passcode and so on. If you have touch ID, you're going to also have the touch ID uh, functionality in there. The battery settings are not changed at all. So the battery usage is definitely remaining the same. And um, yeah, of course, you have a new section called account and passwords. Going ahead in here, you can uh, set accounts for different um, things you have in here. For example, Exchange, Google, uh, AOL, America Online, Outlook.com, and so on. Or you can have app and website passwords. In order to access this section, you need to input your uh, passcode. As you can see, you do have a new um, keypad in here, a new design for the keypad and you can add various passwords for various websites, the domain, the username, and the password. And probably, presumably, when Safari detects uh, the, um, the login to that website, it's going to ask you if you want to use that password. I do not know, but it's definitely nifty. Now, uh, there is a dark mode, so-called dark mode, but it's only inverted colors, uh, but it's not going to invert the icons. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this in a recording because the screen in the recording remains the same. It's only visible to the human eye. But I'm going to make a video later on that if you want to. It's definitely not that dark mode you've been expecting. So this is pretty much it, guys. This is iOS 11 beta 1, the major changes. I'm going to also make some videos on hidden changes uh, soon. But you can also check out Billy Ellis. He also made a video on hidden changes on the iOS 11, which is definitely good in my opinion. So be sure to check him out. So yeah, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Geosnow. Peace.